In early Islam, the, the Ud develops, and develops in many ways which are extremely interesting. We have some treatises which uh, define the different measurements for the Ud, uh, 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 from Al-Kindi, for instance, who defines the different elements of the, the size, the width, the length of the, of the, fret, of the fretboard, the fingerboard. Also, the female oud, which is slightly smaller in size. Um, and uh, the strings are, are defined uh, uh, also. So, some strings were made of silk, and they had uh, 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 strands of strings, one together, uh, in order to make the, the proper tones uh, which were required on the instrument. Uh, so therefore, the oud really is a typically Iraqi instrument, which then spread in the other Arab countries. We must remember that before the partition of the Middle East, the, the, there was no boundaries in the Arab world. It was the uh, land of the Arabs. Yes. Uh, and therefore, this was the same country, which was at, at this time united. So it was easier for the, this instrument to circulate and to get uh, 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 known throughout. How the taqasim uh, is created by the, by the artist. So I wrote about this as well. Uh, also, uh, I uh, talked about uh, the modulation, now how to mix between the maqam and what the, I mean, the bridge between the maqam and another. Because in my opinion, uh, I think we have virtual harmony. While the, uh, I mean, Western music is, uh, is, uh, is, has the virtual, we have a horizontal harmony. What, why, by a variation of the maqamat and how we will do and move between the maqamat and another. 